bruh. That actually looks freaking insane, bruh. Uh, as well. Would you still care to talk to me? So well, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino Rikwaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Yeah, we got a crazy freaking looking store bundle as you guys can see here. It's known as the Tracer Pack Dark Rituals Bundle, which is at 2400 COD points and comes with red tracer effects, dark ritual death effect for a couple of guns, the RPK and the mini bag, and has a fire operator skin as you guys can see. If you guys are excited to see this bundle in full, see how the operator skin looks like in game, see how the camos look like on the tracer weapons, and see how the traces look like in general, and anything secretive about this bundle that you guys might have not known, then make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I tend to upload bundles here on this channel, so if you're looking forward, forward to tracer bundles, you know, reactives, mastercrafts, or anything that might be interesting sort of a bundle, I'll most likely have a video on it as soon as possible. I also upload words on two gameplay and other miscellaneous slash news updates videos if that sorts your vibe so go ahead and stay stick around man i'm just glad that you're on this video right now without further ado let's go ahead and check out this bundle so starting things off we got the invoker operator skin for horangi and man he looks legit fucking crazy bro i believe this is the first animated operator skin as you guys can see uh on his hoodie the the little symbol and everything kind of pops up which is actually really freaking crazy this reminds me of the as val tracer effect uh, from season six of Modern Warfare 2019, he has the whole uh, you know symbol and everything on his whole ho whole body, and it looks freaking crazy and menacing. Kind of reminds me of the nuke operator skin as well that you get for dropping a nuke in Warzone 2. So if you can't get a nuke operator skin, you might as well buy it, like I'm doing right now. So we got that for the operator skin. We got the RPK Macabre, and as you guys can see, it comes with Red Tracer effect and the Dark Ritual Death effect, with, and it looks really freaking nice here here are the attachments it doesn't come with an ammunition attachment so you can't put it on other guns uh but the attachments they look okay um and design wise it looks just like the as val that i mentioned earlier from model war for 2019 so that's pretty cool we also have the dread rights mini back uh smg with tracer effects as well and the def effect and uh oh my goodness there it is the attachments it doesn't come with any you know, ammunition attachment once again so you can't put this on other weapons so you're only getting the mini back and the rpk here but they look great and the tracer effect is probably worth it as well we also have the ritual begins weapon charm a decal for known as the devil's gateway the loading screen of the grayscale heli and the beneath the mask emblem so the best things about this are the decal the two tracer guns and the operator skin and for 2400 cod points i think that's a decent amount of stuff so yeah i'm gonna cop this right now and we're gonna go ahead and show off the entire bundle here in this video make sure you guys drop a like if you guys are hyped and uh, without further ado let's check this bundle out okay so here we are with the rpk macabre and the dread rights uh, mini back so the first thing we're gonna check out of course is how the gun looks like here with uh, camo so here's how it looks like with space attachment before even before that uh, if you guys were wondering about the decal Here's how the decal looks like, at least on the Macabre. I guess a better example of showing how the decal looks like is how it looks like on another gun. So here's the ISO Hemlock with the full black camo, and it looks actually super freaking clean uh, with this uh, solid color camo. So it's a good looking decal to kind of mix around with uh, with some of these solid color camos, of course. So some of the darker ones for sure, like the black one, is probably gonna be your best bet when in showing it off. And here's how it looks like with the TAC-56. Similar story. You're gonna want to use a solid color camo. If you're wondering how the decal looks like with the mastery camos, that is kind of how it's going to look like. I think it looks better in the the darker camos, like the the black camo or whatever. So yeah, pretty cool decal. But now moving forward, let's see how the gun looks like with camos on the macabre, I should say. And here's how it looks like with gold. Here's how it looks like with platinum. Here's how it looks like with polyatomic. At least the the, the little design kind of shows off. And Orion. I think polyatomic looks really great on this gun, personally, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to other camos, uh, here's how the solid colors kind of look like on this gun with its base attachment. So uh, it only really covers the the other parts of the gun, which is kind of cool, I think. You can get some, some interesting combinations if you want to change things up. And here's how the CDL camos look like, where they cover the entire gun. So the good thing is that that nice little like uh, decal or whatever that comes with the blueprint uh, looks kind of cool, the, the glowing part. So that's kind of nice. And now here we are with the Dread Rights mini back. And here's how it's going to look like with uh, camos. Here's the regular camos. It looks kind of nice with its last camo there. But here's how gold looks like. Platinum. Polyatomic, which once again, in my, looks, in my opinion, looks the best. 
and Orion camo, which is, eh, it's, it's all right. But Polyatomic is definitely the best for these blueprints. Solid color camos, um, pretty much the same story. You're gonna, you're gonna have some interesting effects, but I think the, the all black ones are probably gonna be the best ones because it doesn't cover the, the bottom attachments or whatever. And here are the CDL camos in case you were curious. I do like the, the nice little effect. You basically have like an extra decal, which is pretty cool. And now that we showed off the camos, we're gonna now show how the guns look like with their meta class setup. So here's the base attachments of the Macabre RPK. And here's how the gun looks like after getting its meta class setup together. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, when you put camos on it, I can imagine this looking pretty solid, honestly. You, know, you can put on any of the mastery camos, but when you put on the solid color camos, I mean, you got something going on. You know, some, you know, wide out looks kind of cool or whatever, but I, that does kind of suck that you kind of ruin the look of the gun uh, by taking off some of the attachments. Moving on, here's the base blueprint attachments for the mini back dead rights. And here's how the mini back looks like with its meta attachments. And it actually looks really good for multiplayer because you pretty much change very little. I think you only change like the muzzle and the laser or whatever, and you change some of the other things. But overall, this looks really freaking clean, which is nice. But yeah, I believe that is it that we need to show off in the menus. And now we're going to go into a game, show off how the traces look like, see any cool effects, and um, show off our operator skin a little bit too. So let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are with the Macabre RPK, which looks absolutely amazing with its like platinum look. Uh, like legit, I didn't put a camo on it or anything. This is how it looks like at default. So it looks really clean. And then here is the Dread Rights mini back which also looks really freaking clean as well. I think it looks really freaking nice. Sheesh, wait, do you guys see the laser? Wait, hold on, after doing this inspect. Hold on, look at this laser, bro. It has a really cool freaking laser effect. Bruh, that actually looks freaking insane, bruh. You guys see this? That is such a dope freaking effect. <laughs> okay, well, now that we're on the subject, let's see how the traces look like. That is actually like a really dope effect. Let's see how the RPK looks like. RPK actually looks kind of fresh. Hold on, what do we look at that wall for? Bruh. <laughs> that is actually crazy. Definitely like some crazy, crazy chaser effects. Like, I'm, I'm glad they're finally going crazy with the bundles, bro, because these are some nice freaking bundles to say the least. So let me know what you guys think about the, the uh, the, the effects so far. I think they're pretty clean. Okay, now that we've shown off uh, how the traces look like, let's see the death effect and see if it looks any crazy uh, as well. That's a pretty dope freaking effect, if I do say so myself. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let's see if it works on the foot as well. Yeah, it works on any part of the body, so... Legit, when you body somebody, the whole, like, symbol comes out, which is actually pretty crazy. I like that. Let's see how the RPK looks like. And it works on the RPK as well. So, some really crazy effects. Um, like, I love how it looks like with a, with a scope or any, everything. I don't know, I, I just think this is kind of cool. So you can kind of like fit it to the scope or whatever. I think that's really dope. And then the dope freaking laser effect from the uh, from the mini back is kind of clean. Is there anything that happens when you ADS? No, nah, nothing crazy. I mean, I like the little symbols that it has when you're ADS. It's kind of cool. So I wanted to see if the reactive operator looks... Oh, look! You actually see the freaking skin in its reactive form uh, from the other perspective, which is actually kind of cool. So, yeah, you, you, your, your cloak actually does uh, glow and unglow. So it's the first animated react uh, operator skin, I should say, which is pretty cool. Let me get into a third-person mode uh, really quickly, and then we can see how the operator skin looks like in third-person, and then we'll end the video. Okay, so here we are in third-person mode with the... Uh, with the whole freaking skin and everything. And he looks pretty freaking clean. You actually see the, the cloak, you know, glowing. As you, if you guys looked like really closely, like his hood, you actually saw like the, the glow happening, as you guys could see. So it, it, it resonates in and out, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, his little thing on the back doesn't really do anything. But overall, I think he looks I think he looks pretty sweet. Nice little, nice little third person mode uh, at, uh, perspective just for you guys. And finally, let's see uh, how it looks like uh, from third person. It still looks so cool in third person. But yeah, really good tracer effects on the mini back and RPK. Good decal, great operator skin. Uh, everything else in this bundle is probably a W-ish. You know, the charm as well. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this bundle in the comment section below. I think it's overall an, uh, a W. 
keep in mind that you can't put the tracers on these guns to other guns, so that's the only thing that sucks. And it is another RPK tracer, so if you bought the previous RPK bundle, that is low-key kind of an L for you, because you're pretty much only getting the mini bag, but it's up to you. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Drop a like on the video, subscribe, turn on those post notifications if you guys enjoyed. And if you're looking forward to future store bundle videos, you already know I got the best ones out there. Also, make sure you guys use code BALLER at gfuel.com for a 20-30% discount. I'm actually partnering with G Fuel now, so if you love my vibes and you want to be energized as well with a tasty drink, then go ahead and uh, use code BALLER. Appreciate everybody that's used the code so far. And uh, without further ado, keep being amazing. Thank you guys for giving my content a chance, and I love you all. <laughs>